Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, Sven, do you still have access to the white paper doc we had, we're working on? I'm getting like access denied to be able to get I, to it. So. I hope so. I mean, I hope so too. If not, I think Anhand created it, but I don't know where he created it at. So if not, <laughs> we're not going to have a doc to show people because it's all in there. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are not the first agenda point. I think we can wait a more, minute more to start. Not, we are not waiting. Oh, I'm sorry. I was shaking my head about, uh, can anybody else access the stock? And I am I able to access that as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would uh, say we are yeah, waiting one more minute for others to join. In the meantime, do we have volunteers for um, writing down things we are talking about? So... Yeah, I can't access it as well. So it's, it's yeah, kind of funny. Maybe I can just uh, write a message to Angel. Volunteers for note taking? Don't everybody volunteer all at once. <laughs> Uh, I'm happy to do it. <clears throat> I always help out too. I just also know I'm going to be talking in various things of this and might forget. So I'm going to just, it's a group effort. On that note, who would like to lead the meeting? Um, oh, I'm doing I, it too often. Yeah, yeah it's to, to, totally uh, clear. So th that's I, I thought when I uh, already tried to assign note takers, uh, then I'm the one who is leading the meeting. Yeah, I, I, I think you really deserved an, uh, time for uh, just watching and making comments. I think that's OK. <laughs> um, quick message to Angel. So yeah, let, let's see if we get an answer in time or uh, if, if we need to recall the details from our heads. Um, yeah, welcome. Uh, welcome, welcome to the um, uh, Working Group Web Assembly of the CNTF Tech Runtime. Uh, this is an official CNCF meeting, so uh, please be aware that there is a code of conduct and be nice to each other. Um, first uh, agenda point. Oh, we are not recording. Is it? Can we enable it? Should we enable it? Oh, oh no, we, we are see, recording. I see recording. Yeah. We're good. Oh, we We're, are. Sorry. Amazing. Good point. We are recording this meeting, so uh, please be aware of that. Uh, if you don't be on the recording, I'm afraid it's already too late, but Zoom uh, notified that in the beginning that uh, a recording. Um, first agenda point uh, is here somebody who wants to introduce uh, him herself. Short gap. Waiting for someone to speak up. Okay, let's continue. As far as I see, we have no recurring tasks. 
and we can directly start into the agenda. Joe, you have an agenda point. Oh, hey everyone. Hi. Um, so today I am invited to give you a short introduction to the YZ Cloud Core. I saw the video of last time, I didn't come last time. Uh, Taylor, was, Taylor was mentioning YZ Cloud Core, so I was uh, thinking maybe I should give you a short introduction of what that is. All right. I am going to share a Google Doc. Sad. Am I allowed to share my screen? All right, everyone, everyone can see the doc. Cool. All right. So um, why is it called core standardization? First, uh, I want to briefly mention uh, WASI and WASI Preview 2. So WASI has been around for years, and there are major implementations in all of the of, uh, WASI runtimes, including WASI Time, WASI Edge, WASI Mer, and whatever. They have WASI Preview 1 implementation. Um, but WASI Preview 2 um, is was just stabilized last year uh, and the end of the last year. It's a major iteration of WASI, uh, which means it transitions from the old WITEX syntax into the WIT IDL and WASM component model type systems. And in last year stabilization, we have two major worlds, WASI CLI and WASI HTTP. One is for your traditional posits like command line argument applications, and the other is HTTP-based services or applications. We want to introduce a third world called YZ Cloud Core. And it was designed to facilitate YZ applications running in distributed, applica in distributed environments uh, and in various platforms, including major cloud, edge environments, or IoT devices, um, in all the operating systems, and um, various. Uh, CPU architectures. So we think um, there is a core set of capabilities or APIs that every distributed application needs. And that includes the abilities to read and write to a key value store, blob store, relational databases, uh, the ability to send and receive HTTP requests, doing uh, exchange messages within messaging um, to acquire a lock for your resource and the ability to watch and change your runtime configurations like flags. So the major objective of this standardization is to standardize the set of APIs I just mentioned that provide your application a core set of distributed capabilities running in various environments. There are two major uh, guiding principles when we design these interfaces. One is portability. And this is also the core advantage of WASM and WASM components. Uh, you will be able to have ship your WASM application to one uh, platform and has the ability to move from one platform to another platform. So if you think about WASM as a virtual CPU architecture that can um, compile to x86 or ARM, and the WASI as a virtual operating system that can run in various um, operating systems like Mac OS, Linux, and Windows, you can think of WASI Cloud Core as a business logic. Um, uh, it has the portability to move your business logic from one place to another. 
Um, so that's the core idea of portability. And the other guiding principle is we want to find a set of features um, such that 80% of distributed applications are expecting these interfaces. So we are not going to solve like 100% of needs. There are long running processes or services. Necessarily, they would need uh, feature rich services like uh, they or all of the cloud they can provide. For example, the application can expect to use basically every feature that AWS provides, uh, but this is not the case, or this is not the user scenario we are solving here. We are looking for a core set of APIs that most applications need. And um, so this includes, uh, as I mentioned, key value store, blob store, relational databases, HTTP, messaging, uh, runtime configuration, and distributed locking. A side note, I think it's a, it's important to notice that a lot of cloud native applications, they uh, do not require traditional POSIX APIs. Um, I want to emphasize the sockets and the file system APIs. So, when I show you the YZ Cloud Core interfaces, you won't be able to see the uh, imports of sockets and file system. Instead, we have HTTP and key value stores. Um, if people are interested about the history, uh, I have little note here, but I'll skip here for now. So, um, at, I'll just briefly mention at the end of the year, 2022, uh, we have proposed all of those interfaces to the YZ subgroup under W3C, and we started iterating and standardizing those interfaces in this subgroup. So every um, interface, including key value messaging, they are their individual standardization effort. And we have a, um, a world called YZ Cloud Core that's an umbrella for all of those uh, individual interfaces. So YC Cloud Core, uh, written in the WIT IDL, uh, is basically a package, uh, uh, basically a world that called Cloud Core that includes all of those key value blob store messaging. And this special include syntax is basically a union of other worlds. So you can think of, it just includes all the imports and the exports from the key value world or from the blob store world and such. A. And we have seen um, some prototyping and experimental implementations uh, in some open source projects, including Wasm Cloud in CNCF and Spin in Fermion. And starting version, major version 14, Wasm Time as a serve command that can serve uh, the HTTP request. Uh, this is a full implementation of the YZ HTTP proposal. And that's my short introduction. Uh, as you can see, my document is not fully finished yet, but I just want to give you an idea of what, what that is. Are there cool. questions? Um, I'm going to do a question that I already know the answer to, but I'm going to prompt it for the thing anyway. Uh, Joe, when are when is this looking to stabilize, and how can people get their their comments and thoughts um, in before that time? Um, so stabilization is ongoing; it's not stabilized yet. People are free to give comments and feedback right now at the moment, um, and my goal is to move or to have a vote to move them to a phase two by this year. Uh, Joe, is there any specific calls to action, you know, as far as next steps that you want help on? You know, if there's something that uh, you wanted people to help with, you know, today or next week, you know, what would, what would the next two or three things that you'd want people to help with be? Um, one thing that I 
and monitoring is an issue in YC Cloud Core, which is to collect all the user stories that uh, to ensure we are involved in the right direction directions. And this is a great place for you to uh, read the current user stories uh, people proposed and also propose your own story in here. Um, just open this issue for more comments. And in case people have uh, want to know more about YZ Cloud Core and uh, some inter some demos and examples implementation using YZ Cloud Core interfaces, I would recommend you to check out some of those YouTube videos. Um, those are recordings of the past talks we gave at conferences. Thank you so much, Joe. Um, then uh, I would um, change the agenda a little bit. So uh, next topic would be uh, OCI and components effort. Also from Taylor and James. I'll let mostly James talk here, I'm guessing, because he uh, did a lot of legwork getting the document together. But mostly, we didn't want to take up too much time here. Um, we were going to uh, kind of, we can kind of show the doc and, and just share that so people know about it, I think is good. And I'll let James do that. But I wanted to point out, we're planning on doing on the off weeks from this meeting, um, meeting about this and trying to drive some efforts that, that James is about to describe. Um, my one question, probably David knows this, is if we can hijack this Zoom um to use it um if we can just click on it and reuse it yep he gives me some fireworks um but uh anyway like i'm i'm thinking that's probably the best thing we can do um and then we can have people uh join into this zoom basically same time but on the off weeks from this so next week at 9 a.m well my name and 8 a.m pacific um so anyway, that's our thinking. We can talk some more about that at the end, but I'll let James go over like what, what our plans are, what we're thinking about doing and, and why we're bringing this up, so. Sure, so um, I, I've presented a few times here on WASM and OCI. Uh, and um, I think right now we have multiple different types of ways of um, putting WASM modules and components into the OCI registries. Um, and there's several different types of artifacts out there according to each runtime. And um, to make the ecosystem kind of come together, we'd like to create a single artifact that um, can be implemented by all the different runtimes, uh, container and um, and WASI runtimes. Um, and so one of, one of the goals there is to create uh, an OCI artifact type that can run across those uh, runtimes and um, container runtimes, uh, and then also come up with and, and maybe potentially agree upon like a single layer type. So, um, you know, essentially put all the container, all the WASM components as one layer type and um, be able to use those across uh, all the different things. Right now, some of the um, runtimes, the WASI runtimes have uh, defined specific layer types, and we can't, it's going to be challenging to have like uh, an unknown number of layer types and implement that across various uh, component uh, runtimes. So uh, we want to we want to try to solve that problem, and then we also want to be able to uh, potentially put these into like an exploded, so you have multiple components uh, in a single uh, WASM artifact, and at a given time, maybe at the runtime or or some sort of prep time, be able to compose those back together. Uh, and so we need to kind of talk about how do we Give enough information inside this artifact to be able to do those things. Um, and so I put the, together this short document that covers those goals, um, puts together a kind of straw man example of um, what this might look like. Uh, and uh, in particular, if we're going to have any configuration. And so I think some of the things we're going to try to do is just solve those things. And what, what does this look like? Um, button down exactly what these things are and how, how they'll be used across all the various runtimes. And um, yeah, so you can take a look at this document. 
I'm not going to go into it here too much, um, but there's already been some some good discussion on some of the various topics here. Uh, and so, yeah, we'll talk about it more next week and, and dive in um, and hopefully come up with something that works for uh, across the various projects. Uh, I put Sounds the link amazing. in, yeah, I put the link in the uh, notes, but I'll also paste it in the, the chat here too. Are there any questions? David, go ahead. Um, I saw some discussions going on with uh, the WebAssembly uh, registry um, and some, some uh, path changes, perhaps for development. Um, can you speak to those or do you have any insight into or uh, anybody else have any insight that they would like to share about uh, Borg? I, uh, yeah. Oh, is there go somebody here from James. Borg? No, no, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I'm probably not the best person to speak to it. So, um, Well, uh, first off, uh, there's some work underway to uh, use OCI as the first iteration of whatever Borg is going to be. Um, and, uh, that project is mainly being, uh, initially done by Land Martin and there's a prototype, uh, on that discussion thread he links to, he's working on that and still testing, make sure that there's compatibility with the major cloud providers of the, uh, uh, the, the image manifest and however, you know, he's publishing this. I, I'm new to OCI, so I'm still trying to get up on the terminology and I'm, planning on joining your weekly meeting uh, next week. Um, I'm in the process of looking at an OCI implementation of this stuff for work as well right now. So the time time around this is uh, I'm going to get up to speed on the different pieces. But the bottom line for work is uh, we don't know. Um, we're we're looking at um, uh, using OCI for publishing WASI Preview 2 interfaces uh, and having support for that and throughout the tooling for cargo component and et cetera. Um, there's still open questions of whether uh, the work other protocol um, is going to proceed or not, or going to be reduced to something that lives on top of OCI or not and having other guarantees around uh, basically the package release logs. Um, so there's a lot of open questions and discussions still happening. Uh, it is also worth noting that in a few weeks time, there's a Bytecode Alliance uh, meeting, um, uh, Dev Plumber Summit. And uh, I think there's gonna be a lot more discussion around this topic uh, at that meeting. Uh, sorry, I don't have a lot of answers. It's still a lot of questions. Great. In the meantime, uh, Angel ran the disaster recovery and our document is uh, back again. So, uh, Taylor? Yay. Thanks, thanks Angel. Um... <laughs> we, we, we can't access it via link, but uh, if I can share my screen, I have it here. And I hope you can see it. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Sven. Um, okay, so uh, Sven and I, as promised, did some talking over the, the holidays um, about kind of the proposed outline of the document. We're going to have to get this into another Google Doc so people can uh, comment on it and add any uh, add any uh, issues. We'll try to go add that and dump it in the uh, Slack channel for people to look at. But um, we kind of, we, we went back and forth, we went over all the different suggestions when we last talked about this. And um, we're going to, I mean, besides the intro material, which seems pretty straightforward, we're going to talk about really the whys first, like what, 
um, what's like that right level virtualization? Like where, where do you need this at? Like, what is it good for? Where, like, how, how is it used? Like, what are the benefits and how it, and especially how those are tied to the, the previous white paper from about uh, platform engineering from the CNCF about like the seven attributes. And we'll like, there's some examples here that we have that we're, we want to cover. We might um, do some more as we write it. Um, and then the, uh, then we'll do the, the answering of like, well, what can you do now? And that'll be try to be as practical as possible and say, like, here's the different land, like stuff in the CNCF landscape that you can use right now. Um, and then the different use cases of what you can do. And so, like, we, we've listed some of these here that we think are probably the most important to start out with, um, like swapping out your container for WebAssembly, like running WebAssembly in your own infrastructure, um, like, and then also like running any of those things like alongside Kubernetes or inside of Kubernetes, like there's the different things here. So we have things that cover stuff like run WASI, things that cover like a controller method. So like all those different kinds of, of things are all gonna be covered in here. And then talk about the um, the challenges and then finish up with a kind of like, hey, here's some other resources and things you should follow because we know that this is, because of how fast this space is moving, we know things are gonna get out of date really quickly, but we wanna provide pointers to people so that when they finish reading this or they discover this six months down the line, they can go, that was interesting. Let me see what the current state of everything is and then point them to basically the next stuff because this will probably have to be refreshed within a year, but that's the field we're in being in something like this. So um, that's kind of the overview here. Um, we just wanted to make sure it was publicly out there and available. Um, and then once, like I said, we want to give people like probably a week or so to comment on it and see if there's any big things they're like, hey, you're really missing this or this shouldn't be there. And then Sven and I will start. Um, uh, yeah, and that's a, actually a really good point, Danielle. Refreshing this is probably a really good idea every six to 12 months until things become more stable. I think that's a good idea. And it's so... Fair. Yeah. That was also our discussion. So do we uh, really look at the cutting edge things or uh, just describing the basics? And we thought it's more val valuable to look really at the current state and then refreshing it from time to time because uh, it's a so fast moving field. And um, yeah, it, it should be uh, something you can really read and implement and uh, really do some hands-on stuff with and not uh, put it in some... Uh, yeah, not not a book for you put somewhere. So we need to update it from time to time. So the plan is I'm hoping to just, I don't want to keep it open too long because I don't want to delay getting work started on it. But once we get into a Google Doc, giving people a week to kind of give feedback and then Sven and I will schedule some time to start writing this um, and putting it together. And then we'll, it'll probably take a little bit of time because we're writing it all up. But um, then we'll, once we've got it done, we'll bring it back for everybody to to look at, review, do edits, and then finalize the paper after that. So Sven, did I miss anything? I don't think so. Okay, good. <laughs> Just got to make sure I didn't miss anything dumb. <laughs> yeah. Probably yes, but I can't recall it either. So, okay. So yeah, that's that's all we have for that. Um, just wanted to make people aware. Like I said, we'll fix it and get it to a, a new Google document that everyone can um can go review yeah. and and give us feedback on on what we're going to talk about. So, any questions? If no, we already reached the end of our agenda. Do we have some last minute items? We've generally been doing news and stuff. So this is the time to share that if you have WASM related news or other things. Ah, okay. We have some hand raisers. David, please. Uh, not so much news with this one, but just curious. Uh, does anybody know when <clears throat> WASM.io talks and KubeCon talks will be announced? Oh, that's what uh, Liam probably has a stand up for. Yep. Uh, Wasm, <laughs> uh, Wasm, I, David, you and I, again, always uh, always write like, you know, like we've got some quantum mind link. We share one brain cell or something and they, they talk to each other. At least one. Yeah, same, bud. Uh, the uh, Wasmio we're supposed to go out imminently, as in today. Uh, Wasm Day um, uh, went out this morning. Um, so they should be in the process of going out. Um, uh, and then... A uh, KubeCon has not gone out yet. Um, I don't have uh, when those are uh, that the day I can uh, find out the day they're supposed to go out. Uh, if you give me a moment, I can try to drop that into channel. I do have that, but I don't have it in front of me. 
Um, and uh, I can also let you know when the when I do have the day that is supposed to be published, but announcement should be out. So I did no notifications to go out this morning. Um, but the schedule's out, so it's uh, for Wasm Day. It's gonna be it's gonna be good, gonna be good uh, as well. As schedules out for Backstage Con and Observability Day uh, and all of those things. I'm, I'm sorry, the um, acceptances are out. Um, schedules have not been posted yet. Those schedules are being pulled together now. It was mentioned on the call earlier, um, there will be a developer um, a get together uh, later this month uh, for WebAssembly. Um, the, that will be streamed. A part of it will be streamed um, on uh, YouTube is I think where we'll be streaming it. Uh, so there will be an opportunity for a broad uh, participation um, uh, uh, to a, a follow along with um, some of the road mapping and planning for the year um, and some of the discussions uh, to kind of capture that. I know that, the, you know, last year we um, pulled one together and just did some heads down um, planning on, on the BA uh, and, um, you know, they're hard to do. We've just got a very small budget on those things. Um, uh, and this year we're trying to be a little bit more ambitious and broadcast. Um, so baby steps there to make it, uh, make it bigger. Um and get it out um, and just, you know, share the information more broadly uh, to get it, uh, get it going. We're excited about that, uh, but watch for details on that um, uh, soon. Great. Any more news? If not, then I'd like to thank you for participation. Great to uh, have you here, and uh, then I'd like to close this meeting now. See you. Great job today, Svan. <laughs>